We say that the Sun is a typical star, and that's not precisely true. The Sun is indeed intermediate in mass range between the lowest mass and highest mass stars, but it's not typical numerically. The distribution of stellar masses is called the initial mass function. This is the relative numbers of stars of different masses that emerge average over star formation regions throughout the Milky Way. The initial mass function is a power law, and it's quite steep, which means that there are many more low mass stars for every high mass star. The highest mass stars, about 100 times the mass of the Sun, live a very short time on the main sequence, only about a million years, whereas the lowest mass stars, much larger in number, live a very long time, trillions of years. None of these stars have ever left the main sequence, but because they're intrinsically very dim, they're hard to see at large distances, and they're underrepresented in most stellar catalogs.